Well, a very good evening to you all, those of you who have come to our candlelit carol service. If you can't see me, that's the reason we're in candlelit. Um, but it's lovely to see you all join us this evening to sing some traditional carols, to listen to some readings and a little message at the end. And most important of all, the refreshments upstairs afterwards. So that's great. A very warm welcome to those who are online. We thank you for joining us this evening. And we pray that God will truly bless each one of us. So, if you're a good gusto now with those carols, so <coughs> let's over to the band to lead us. So we stand as we sing, Hark the Herald Angels Sing. Thank you. Isaiah chapter 9, verses 2 to 7. The people walking in darkness have seen a great light. On those living in the land of deep darkness, a light has dawned. You have enlarged the nation and increased their joy. They rejoice before you as people rejoice at the harvest, as warriors rejoice when dividing the plunder. For as in the day of Midian's defeat, you have shattered the yoke that burdens them, the bar across their shoulders, the rod of their oppressor. Every warrior's boot used in battle and every garment rolled in blood will be destined for burning, 
will be given for the fire. For unto us a child is born, to us a son is given, and the government will be on his shoulders, and he will be called Wonderful Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, Prince of Peace. Of the greatness of his government and peace there will be no end. He will reign on David's throne and over his kingdom, establishing and upholding it with justice and righteousness from that, from that time on and forevermore. The zeal of the Lord Almighty will accomplish this. Amen. So we stand as we sing at silent night. Thank you. <coughs> This wouldn't be a service without technical issues. <laughs> uh, seems as if the projectors uh, decided to uh, take a break. Uh -huh. So now we're going to have Jason to give us the next reading. Have you got a light? I was bound to have a candle, don't we? Thank you, my <coughs> Good evening to everybody here and online. <laughs> this is how the birth of Jesus, the Messiah, came about. His mother Mary was pledged to be married to Joseph, but before they came together, she was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit, because Joseph, her husband, was faithful to the law and yet did not want to expose her to public disgrace and had in mind to divorce her quietly. But after he had considered this, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in the dream and said, Joseph, <coughs> son of David, do not be afraid to take Mary home as your wife, because what is conceived in her is from the Holy Spirit. <coughs> she will give birth to a son, and you to give him the name Jesus, because he 
will save his people from their sins. All this took place to fulfill what the Lord had said through the prophets. The virgin will conceive and give birth to a son, but they will call him Emmanuel, which means God with us. When Joseph woke up, he did what the angels of the Lord had commanded him and took Mary home as his wife. But he did not consummate their marriage until she gave birth to a son and they gave him the name Jesus. Amen. 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 I'm going to sing, Oh, come all you faithful. issued a decree that a census should be taken to the entire Roman world. This was the first census that took place while Quirinius, the governor of Syria, Syria. Syria, and everyone went to their own town to register. So Joseph also went up to the town of Nazareth in Galilee to Judea, to Bethlehem to the town of David, because he belonged to the house and the line of David. He went there to register with Mary who was pledged to be married to him and was expecting the child. 
While they were there, the time came for the baby to be born, and she gave birth to her firstborn, the son. She wrapped him in cloths and placed him in a manger, because he was no, there was no guest room available for them. And they were shepherds living out in the fields nearby, keeping watch over their flocks at night. And an angel of the Lord appeared to them, and the glory of the Lord shone all around, and they were terrified. But the angel said to them, Do not be afraid, I bring you good news. That will cause you great joy for all the people. Today in this town of David, a saviour was born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in clothes lying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of, of heavenly hosts appeared with the angel, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth. Peace to all those. Peace to those of whom... His favour rests. When an angels, when the angels had left <coughs> them and gone to into heaven, the shepherds said to one another, "Let's go to Bethlehem and see this thing which has happened, which the Lord has told us about." So they hurried off and found Mary and Joseph and the baby who was lying in a manger. When they had seen him, they spread the word concerning, concerning what he had been told about this child, and all who had heard was amazed at what the shepherds had said. But Mary treasured up all those things and pondered them all in her hearts. The shepherds returned, glorifying and praising God for all the things he had heard and seen, which were just as they were being told. Thank you. Well, isn't it great to be able to sing some wonderful carols and to have those readings read to us to remind us, believe it or not, this <laughs> next weekend is Christmas. Amen. Amen. So we're looking forward to that, and I'm sure all the children are looking forward to it. Perhaps even more so this year <coughs> because of the problems we had last year <coughs> in the lockdown. And I'm hoping that things will last this week to make sure that we get a great time together uh, with our families. Uh, I'm joining my newest grandson for Christmas dinner. So whether I'll have it on my plate or on me with him, I don't know yet. But uh, it's wonderful as families we can get together. And so we're just going to have a little message now from Gary. So I'll just pray that Gary will uh, be blessed as he shares that message with us. Father God, we thank you for this time. This time of celebration as we remember Jesus coming to Bethlehem as a babe. And Lord, we thank you for this Christmas time. We pray your continued protection on all our families as we celebrate together. May we enjoy the company of our families this year, but also remembering those who have passed on, Lord, during to this horrible COVID. We just pray for those families who will be remembering their loved ones. And we pray, Lord, that your blessing will be upon them. Lord, we ask that you might bless our time now and bless Gary as he comes to share. And I pray, Lord, that you will continue to bless us as your people in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. <coughs> well, my wife hadn't told me I could put the light on my phone, <laughs> so I, I'm going to struggle a bit unless I can borrow some pieces. <laughs> Shara, thank you. Thank you, Lisa. Well, it's good to see you all, you. and it's good to come prepared, isn't it? Just like me. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. Christmas is the proof of God's great love for us, for he gave 
his best to us so that we should not perish in sin and death but have everlasting life Christmas is all about God's love I know we all think it's about the presence but it's all about God's love we respond by believing receiving and rejoicing in God's gift of Jesus the gift of eternal life is for whoever wants it but not everyone receives it for it is wrapped up in a person that is Jesus the gift is Jesus himself and in him is all true life so that when we receive we believe in him we receive abundant and eternal life what are the marks of a true believer the believers in the Christmas story are people of every kind they were Jews Gentiles lowly and powerful powerful uneducated and wise <coughs> poor and rich outcasts and those who advise kings we see a devout young Jewish girl Mary shepherds wise men but every one of them found and was received by Jesus because they accepted him as their Lord and Savior. Amen. And I just want to finish this with a little paragraph, a prayer. Father God, we thank you for sending your only Son, Jesus. Thank you for giving him to us for our salvation. Help us to be like Mary. <coughs> who humbly accepted your purpose by saying let it be to me according to your word help us Lord to be like the shepherds who when they had found Jesus went out and told everybody about him help us to be like the wise men who sought him, found him worshipped him with their best gifts. Thank you, Jesus, for giving your life for us by dying on the cross for our sins and rising again from the dead to give us eternal life. Amen. Thank you, Gary great to know the reason why Jesus came in. Just before we finish, I'm uh, going to put the notices up to let you know what's happening over the next few days. So Wednesday we do have our prayer and share on Zoom. <coughs> online. And then on Thursday there's no growth group. And next Saturday, which is Christmas. Christmas! Oh, feel excited. <laughs> Next Saturday is Christmas. Christmas! That's right. So at 10.30 in the morning, we have a sh very short service here. If you'd love to come, we'd love to see you. 10.30 here on Christmas morning. Boxing Day, there is a service online, but we won't be having a service ourselves. Um, so the online service for the destiny is at 11 o'clock. Uh, so just to let you know that. And I think that's it on there. Rob, isn't it? Yeah. And uh, <coughs> we're going to now uh, have our final carol. And then I'm going to ask Mal to come forward and pray for a few folk. So if you put the ones up first, uh, who are we going to pray for so we know who we're praying for? Paul and Hazel, it's lovely to see them tonight. We want to continue to pray for them. Steve, he's online. I've seen that he's online. Bless you, Steve. And Pete is here. 
So God is answering prayer because He sure does answer prayer. Yes? Sorry? Right. Pray for Geth. Yes. Should have put that on tonight. You forgot to text me, didn't you? <laughs> so we'll sing our final carol together. Is there, is Let's see Mami here as well tonight. Yes. Shall we stand and sing our final carol, which is Joy to the World? Thank you. <laughs> season father and i do pray now father for the sick amongst us and on the list father that you will bless each and every one of them not only for the, this season father for, for the old world father and we just father in jesus name that you for your blessing and your protection on each and every one of them this season because we ask this in jesus name amen, amen. Well, thank you ever so much for joining us this evening, and we pray that God will <coughs> bless you. Uh, may I offer Happy Christmas to you, thank you as we join this week, uh, ready for the next weekend celebrations. Thank you for those joining online. We do pray God's blessing upon you as well. From near and far, we bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 If you'd like to join us upstairs for refreshments, you can either, there's a left or you can go upstairs. Thank you.